I do reiterate a very warm welcome to all of you. It is, as has already been said, wonderful to be able to meet face to face and to see each other and to, to interact in that way. So we're delighted to, uh, to be the hosts of this meeting alongside Yesto University and CLACE. Have I got that acronym correct? Is that the... Uh, always, always difficult with acronyms. Uh, always we think when we reorganise the university, which we do fairly frequently, you may recognise that, we always try and get the acronyms sorted out first. That's the important thing. So. <laughs> um, I feel in, in the next paragraph I'm probably telling you what, what you know, but um, Universitate is the programme for the promotion of service learning in Catholic higher education. It aims to encourage service learning in Catholic higher education institutions as a tool to fulfil their mission uh, of an integral education and to engage as agents for social change and promoters of a better society according to the social teaching of the Catholic Church. We here at St Mary's have been part of the Universitate programme since its inception within the Western Europe South network alongside uh, the Universitate Catholic Portuguese and the, Uni the Catholic University of the Sacred Heart, uh, led by the regional hub at Diusta. Um, so it's a particular pleasure to welcome, especially today, Maria Rosa and Candelaria from CLACE, and those from Diusta University. Uh, welcome also to the facilitator of today, representatives from the Catholic University of Portugal, and those from Belgium, and Romania. I do hope I haven't left anyone out, but if there's been any change in the guest list, then uh, please speak to me afterwards. Let me say something where I'm on more secure ground, because really my colleagues, Marianne and Philip, are much more expert in the detail of the group that's meeting here today. Uh, but from a St Mary's point of view, uh, what I wanted to just share with you was that this institution was established in 1850. In fact, we're already beginning to prepare with some excitement Quiet excitement at the moment, but excitement nevertheless for the celebration of our 175th anniversary in 2025. Um, we are a Catholic university. Uh, we're seeking to develop the whole person and empower the community of staff and students here to have a positive impact on the world. We have a very deep heritage in Catholic education and in social justice. Uh, founded by the Catholic Poor Schools Committee in 1850 and by the first Archbishop of Westminster to meet the need for teachers to provide an education for the growing number of poor Catholic children. Uh, a London at the time in the mid-19th century which was experiencing, some of this may sound familiar, um, very significant waves of immigration. At that time principally from Ireland and with a population that was principally Catholic and was often living. In fact, when the hierarchy was restored in this country, there was a lot of challenge, as you could imagine, in a country which had been historically Protestant for a significant period of time. And then uh, the first Archbishop of Westminster said that, you know, in being Archbishop of Westminster, it wasn't his mission to reach out to the rich and powerful who congregate in Westminster, but to the poor who populated the slums that at that time uh, largely surrounded you know, the Houses of Parliament and the other great buildings of Westminster. Um, so wisely, the church decided at that time in this country that, um, in a catchphrase, schools before churches. You know, they wanted to build an education system which would empower and lift up students who otherwise had very poor prospects in life. Um, our ethos derives from the philosophy of St John Henry Newman, whose splendid bust you see, of course, on the mantelpiece there, and his idea of interdisciplinary education, virtues and values, and the formation of each individual, enriched by the insights of the Catholic intellectual tradition. Our current um, strategic plan is called Vision 2030, and it's stated there that our values are rooted in our Catholic foundation with the value of the human person at its heart. Our values set us apart, shape our behaviour and inform all our decisions in a university that responds to the demands of today. That's quite a challenging mission. I hope we most of the time live up to it, but you will all know working in Catholic education that it's a constant process of struggle and self-examination and, and repurposing to make sure that we are living up to, um, to those, those values. We have four core values 
for all of our community, staff and students, and those are inclusiveness, generosity of spirit, respect and excellence. And the value generosity of spirit is one that I think particularly speaks to service learning. Across the university, it says in Vision 2030, and this is, I believe, very true, there is a strong sense of encouragement, collegiality, empathy, helpfulness, and service to others. And that's, in a sense, not just the Vice-Chancellor saying that. You might expect me to say that. But we, we see that coming back to us very much in the evaluations that the students make within national surveys of what they find here at St Mary's. So um, our origins were born out of charitable endeavour by our founders. People offered their working lives in service of some of the poorest children in the country to give them an education. Um, over the generations now, the descendants of those uh, often very poor people are prospering, but are also themselves, of course, giving back to their communities through the charitable endeavours represented by the Catholic schools and education system. So it's particularly appropriate for us as a Catholic university to embed service learning in the programmes here at St Mary's. We have a number of programmes here already which incorporate aspects of service learning and you'll hear much more about that from Philip, uh, particularly in our Institute of Education and the Faculty of Sport, Allied Health and Performance Science. You're going to hear more about that as I say. Now before we entered uh, into this initiative, we didn't use the term internally service learning, but I think that it's important that actually we become much more familiar with that term because it seems to me to sum up very succinctly that integration of service learning, giving back, taking, that we are looking for in the way in which we seek to educate the whole person here at St Mary's. So we're now embedding service learning in our strategies and policies and increasing the element of service learning within our curriculum. In particular, we've recently validated a new master's degree in social justice and public service, and the first cohort of students for that master's degree will be joining us, we, uh, we hope, in September 22, in September this year, in fact. It's the first master's degree in the UK devoted to service learning that integrates a practical volunteering or paid experience at the service of the community with the theoretical and applied understanding of social justice. The service learning module that has been developed for that programme will also be used in other master's programmes at St Mary's. And one of the elements that for us is very important is to think increasingly of those elements and modules of education that can be made available to all of our students, regardless of discipline in many ways, so that they're all experiencing that extra dimension that we hope that we're providing in education rooted in the kinds of values and philosophy, philosophy that I've tried to describe. So um, I will at this point stop because you'll be very keen to get on with the rest of the day, um, but I do reiterate our welcome to you. It's wonderful to have you here. We are very excited about this shared endeavour with you uh, in other Catholic universities around the world. So um, I just wish you the very best for today. Thank you. It's my pleasure to welcome everybody and feel, feeling welcome to here at St. Mary's. So we really appreciate you having us here uh, for this Uniservitate meeting. Uh, as you may already know, Uniservitate is a global program to promote service learning in Catholic higher education. It's a program uh, developed by Porticus and coordinated by the Latin American Center of Solidarity Service Learning from Argentina. Our goal is to be able to commit our students to be real agents of social change in their communities and service learning a way to integrate the Catholic mission in a meaningful a way to address the community while providing quality, uh, quality learning for them. This is a global program that is developed in seven different regions in the world, coordinating by strong universities as Deusto University and Catholic University of Leuven uh, for North Europe, Tangasa University College in Africa, the La Salle University for Asia, the Catholic University of Chile for Latin America, 
uh, Catholic University of Eichstatt in Germany for Central and Eastern Europe and Middle East, and the Catholic uh, Association of College and Universities in, in North America. So we are trying to build <coughs> this network among higher education institutions to learn from each other, to learn mainly which is the best way to integrate service learning with the Catholic mission of these higher education institutions, developing the spirituality within service learning practices. That's why we will work mainly on learning, which is the best way to integrate this within the mission of the Catholic higher education institutions, while building this network among the institutions with a strong commitment with the community we will be working, and most of you are already, uh, already working to develop integral education for your students. Uh, we also want to not only promote your participation in service learning initiatives, but to institutionalize it, to make a key part of your institutions where you will be able to integrate academics with community outreach and research with just a key goal, to develop this integral education for our students, for them to be able to develop a meaningful change in their societies, to put into practice what we read in the mission of our Catholic universities. And you know, sometimes we uh, talk a lot about the real commitment of the institutions. We really want to put that into practice, that our students will be able to, to say, I did it with the people who was in need, and I learned a lot from them and from that experience, and that will give me a meaningful perspective for my future develop as a professional who can really make the difference in the world. And this is what we need. You know, we live in a very changing uh, world with every day we need to be ready to respond to the challenges of this, of this world. And if we are really committed in making a difference to be able to address each other in a fraternal way, well, we need to put that in practice and for them to understand the real meaning of why they had this opportunity to be able to participate from the university with everything that our students can receive for them to be ready to not only to give back, but also to provide this change that we need for this common house when we are all living. So thank you again for having us in this, this wonderful uh, university. We were really looking forward to be able to hear, to meet with you after so long. We almost developed most of the program uh, you know, through Zoom. So we could practice you know, how to be able to have these fraternal meetings with you through the screen, but nothing like a big hug <laughs> that we could have here and to be able to really get to, to meet each other. So we really expect the most of these days. We really thank you for being here, and for the commitment of the, of the team, Marianne and Philip, for organizing this activity with the Delsto team. So this is what we are doing now in the more than 20 universities that we are already supporting within the program in this institutionalization process of service learning. Each institution is a small world inside, and we like to use this polyedric image of the world with the different facets. So every situation is different. That's why we need to learn from your experience to be able how much we can also learn on how to move along with you and take what we learn here to other universities that might also need to strengthen their institutionalization process. So thanks again of the opportunity, and well, let's enjoy this great day together. Thank you.